How's it going YouTube friends? So in this video I am going to show you some real easy techniques to catch crappie in spring. We'll start with the techniques and then we will show off some fishing. All right so this is my setup for panfish and trout, um, small trout. This is an eight foot four weight. It's kind of perfect for fly fishing for panfish and what I'm using is actually kind of the same thing you would use for trout. So I'm using here, this is a balanced leech. Move this so you can kind of see. And I tie these with a chartreuse hotspot that kind of helps fish pick them out. Um, and then an indicator, real simple setup. So for these indicators, I really like these Oros indicators because you loosen it up. You can slide the indicator up and down wherever you want and they're real easy to put on. They come off in two halves. You can mix and match colors if you want. It's a real simple setup. So yeah, the balance leech, believe it or not, even though it's meant for trout, it works well for all kinds of species. Almost everything will eat a leech. Um, I'll show you some crappie I caught in the video on that. But the other fly I used is this real ugly looking bug called a bluegill bully spider. Doesn't look like much, but it's got a lot of weight in its rear end, and when it floats down in the water under an indicator, these little rubber legs float up, and bluegill and crappie really love that action. It's just about the simplest fly to tie. In fact, I think this is one of the first flies I tied when I started tying regularly during the pandemic. Um, but hey, it doesn't need to be pretty to catch fish. So... A little later in the season, I would swap out the indicator for a hopper and kind of do like a hopper dropper setup for panfish and that works really well too. Um, but right now they're not really coming up top and having that sliding indicator so you can adjust depth real, real quick is a huge advantage. All right, that's enough about the setup. I'm just gonna show some fishing. So personally, I prefer using 4X Tippet for panfish they're not all that line shy. And when you're fishing for panfish, sometimes you might get into a big old bass or maybe even a carp or a catfish even. So using the slightly heavier tippet just gives me that little bit of extra confidence in case I do hook into something larger. As for technique, it's real simple. You don't need to overthink it too much. You're casting out a fly under an indicator twitching it back slowly and waiting for them to take it. Different times of year they might want a different retrieve. A little later on in the spring when the crappie get real active I actually take the indicator off and completely strip in my flies and that seems to work better. But right now they can want it kind of slow under the indicator so I'll move it a little bit at a time, pause and wait, sometimes 10-15 seconds even, and then move it in a little bit at a time. It's Admittedly, not the most exciting way to fish, but it is effective. Bye-bye, yep. right, mister. Get back in the water. Nice little crappie. Letting him go. Get back into water. Another crappie. I think we finally figured out the pattern for these guys over here. This time I'm using a bluegill bully spider. Real simple fly. Here, another crop. 
up here is this bluegill. This is a bluegill, I think. That's a nice bluegill, though. Crappie. All right. Hey, mister. What you doing? decent one too. Yeah, this one feels good. Let's not lose it. Oh yeah. Crappy! How we love you! Oh, that is not a crappy crappy at all. That's a nice crappy. All right, another uh, probably 10, 11 inch crappie. It's getting really windy and cold and I'm gonna leave. But yeah, that was a fantastic little adventure. You know, I went to another pond. I was gonna try for trout and then I quickly went back to that crappie spot because why not? Fish for the fish that are biting. Anyway, we'll see you next time.